Hey y'all, welcome to our channel. I'm D. And I'm Six. And we're here to give you your video reaction fix. Hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. I just want to take a moment to say that I truly appreciate our friendship and our sisterhood. I truly appreciate the love and respect we have for one another. I truly appreciate the support, the advice. And I just want to take a moment to say I love you so much. I love you too, sis. Because, boy, the way these chicks out here are set up, I don't even have the words. I think that we are in the age of awakening where we are mm -hmm. finally, finally, we are getting out of the a uh, girl code, girls club. We are, I think women are finally learning what we've been trying to tell them the whole time. Mm -hmm. You sit there and think everything is girl power, girl power, and women together be the blind leading the blind, bad decisions, enabling, back, just going behind each other back. The sisterhood is a scam. We've been okay. here with a scam, and it's a scam on all sisterhoods. White, black, Spanish, the sisterhood is a scam. And I've said before, a woman will be your enemy 10 times before a man be your enemy once. Mm. And I'm going to roll the clip now of what I'm referring to. And I want to get your commentary because I have some things to say about this too. Was this necessary? Criminally offensive side eye starts recording me. Telling her bestie it. I can literally hear the whole combo. <laughs> Realizing they are talking about me. Feeling super self-conscious. I wanted to cry. Watch my confidence disappear after these random girls make fun of me for taking pics. Okay, feeling my spice vibes. Was this necessary? So I just want to, I want you, I want to make sure that you're seeing that, you know, the girl at the game, she asking the person in front of her, like, will you take a picture? And it's these, these, it's Did these she? Girls. I'll bleep it out. Okay. Well, it then, <laughs> back there, like, sis, minding her business, sis ain't bothering nobody, sis look cute. She like, you know, here's my, my camera, can you give me a little picture? You know, give me a little picture of the game. And no one, literally no one, not one soul, these hoes, oh, <laughs> she's sticking up her middle finger like, Danica, why? Because I think I have an idea, but why do you think women do this to each other? Because I know as an attractive woman, you know this, you know how it be. Why do you think women go out of their way to be so mean and catty in situations like that. It was so unnecessary. Well, the obvious is they're highly insecure or they don't feel good about themselves. So the next best thing to do is try to tear the next woman down for having confidence, for being attractive, because you don't feel like you have the confidence that you need or you don't feel like you're that attractive. So it's jealousy, it's envy, it's insecurity, um and overall it's just trash i mean they do it because they're trash i mean it's no other way to put it but um what what do you think it is i think that it is a uh, lack of consequence that's what i think <laughs> so I if they get they up well <laughs> because men cannot try each other like that mm. men cannot do that to each other okay we think that men respect each other more because, you know, they're better humans than us. It's not the case. 
The reason why a man won't be taking no picture like that and have a man in his background flicking him off and doing all that is because he know we going to get the tusk, right? Mm. But as women, we are conditioned to be ladylike and handle it like a lady. And we are taught to take abuse from each other. Mm. I want you to really think about that. When That's boys right. have conflict amongst each other or are disrespected, they're taught. You ever heard where parents like, oh, he hit you. You better go hit him back. Oh, oh, you better go back. You're going to win that fight. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's, they teach boys to defend their honor, to defend yeah. themselves. But then when you're a little girl as a, a young lady, they teach you, oh, just ignore them. Oh, you know, those girls are mean to you. Just tell the teacher. <laughs> oh, those girls are mean to you when you're walking home from school. I remember when I was being bullied in middle school, the administrators, they would literally, I would get bullied because I had to walk past the, the bus line and I lived in a trailer park and they would see me walk into the trailer. Mm -hmm. And so when my mom went to the school and reported like, hey, these girls are teasing my daughter because when she walked home, they're making fun of her that she lives in a, in a trailer park. Do you know what they told my mom? Whoa. Maybe she should walk a different route. See what I'm saying? So women are, and I think it starts from here. Women are conditioned to take abuse from each other and are conditioned where I can be a mean girl to you and you can't respond to it. And if you do, you're not ladylike. And if you do, you know, you're being inappropriate. So I think women need to start having consequences amongst each other for malbehavior like that and disgusting yeah. behavior like that. Okay. Yeah. And that's why, you know, the way I operate, people may or may not agree with it, but I be so in peace and healed in life until it got me fucked up. Okay. If it got me fucked up, I don't believe in that all turn the other cheek, let it go, because this type of stuff you get. Mm -hmm. These are girls who ain't never had nobody stick a foot off in there. <laughs> No, but you're right, though. You're absolutely right. Like, even my husband was telling me, like, when he was growing up, when he, he had an older brother and his father, like, look, you better go over there and fight them. And if you don't beat them up and you come back home, I'm going to beat you up. You know, so. Right. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Boys like so that from young. That's why men know how to stay in their lane. The way, when you watch men interact with one another, they're like, all right, boss. All right, big bro. Like, they proceed with caution with each other. It could be a man he don't even know. Hey, boss, uh, how much is this? Or, hey, because they know, uh-uh, we can't just come at you on some, hey, nigga, yeah. it don't work like that. So yeah. men are conditioned to understand there is consequence behind their action. We are not. And I know that every woman is not equipped to be able to physically fight, but at the very least, mm -hmm. you need to be eating them up and reading them for filth. The fact that yeah. that girl just sat there yeah, I want to cry. It ruined, it ruined your confidence because these hyenas are in the back cackling. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't Girl, think that's it, healthy. I especially for a grown easy. woman. For a grown woman. Like, we're not in middle school. We're not in high school. We're not in kindergarten. Like, you, you want to sit there and cry? Like, girl, if you don't chin check them hoes, what are girl. you doing? I wish, ooh, girl, that could not have been me, girl. Ooh. Girl. I mean, like you said, I do for you, girl. If that was me, that whole thing would have been went way different. Don't okay, me. I'm not going to hold you. That 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 interaction, I wish I would have another woman bothering me for no reason. Baby, why is your confidence going down? Because clearly they're bothering you because they feel threatened by you. By you, right. You right. see what I'm saying? So I'm not about to have my confidence... My whole point is I want us as women to have more responsibility for ourselves and our well-being. Mm -hmm. I want us mm -hmm. to stop thinking that, oh, because it's girl on girl, you know, drama, you got to be a lady and let it go. No, you are a human being. You're within your rights to stand up for yourself. I, I, again, I'm not condoning everyone physically fighting. Now, that's how I get down. If you try it, if you run up on me, I believe in that. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, if you run that. up on me, oh, it's all fair. Oh, baby, if you run up on me, if you lay, if you blow on me too hard, it's on. And that's just me personally, <laughs> but I'm from Florida. Don't listen to me. Don't be like me. <laughs> I'm from the swamp. I'm from the Everglades, baby. We we built a, we a little bit different in Florida. But I'm saying, like, even like what you just said, though, you should at least um, vocalize something. Like, something should be 
known about the yeah. interaction. It should not be you're just sitting there and you're sad and your confidence is shattered and you want to cry. Like, no, say something. Speak up for yourself. You know? Because yeah. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. Like, What's so funny? See, why? Right. I'm going to give, give y'all ladies a hint on how you deal with hyenas like that. Because <laughs> the goal of hyenas are always to be undercover. Hyenas rarely will be you know, directly aggressive and direct with what they do. 95% of the time, hyenas will, you know, they'll throw rocks, hide their hand. The best way to handle hyenas is to see their passive aggression and raise them some direct aggression. And I guarantee you, if I, I stood up, what's so funny? I'm sorry, I see y'all laughing. I'm trying to figure out what's so funny. I guarantee you, once you hold women to task and put them directly on blast like that, I guarantee you they would have been like, now see, oh, we are. Right. We are. That's all you and have to do. That's what I was getting ready to say, Six. Those females like that, those type that are scariest. Yes. They, don't want no, yes. they don't want no smoke. No smoke whatsoever. They're only tough in groups. They're only tough when you don't call them out. You know, they, they only get emboldened when they see that you're shriveling up and you're squirming. But yeah. the moment that you you bark back, it's like, oh, um, girl, what nobody talking about you? You're mm -hmm. you're overreacting. What's mm -hmm. going on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those mm -hmm. are the, the softest and weakest ones. So mm -hmm. that's also a little bit of, of a tip for y'all as well. Yeah. Those are the, and then when she would have been like, I don't know what you're talking about. I would have been like, oh, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, that's what I thought. I, I don't. Ooh, I don't have time. I don't. I, I, I want women to stop this. Like every living thing on this planet has a defense system. The porcupine got its spikes. The skunk got the smell. Every li living thing has a way to defend themselves. The only people who are taught that we are not being ladylike for defending ourselves are women. Mm. To the point where we gotta sit there and let other women harass us, bully us, and do. And if you clap back, you're wrong. Please, we need to end that era. We need to be in the area of fuck around and find out. Okay. Period. Per. Okay. I ain't gonna say. Y'all let us know your thoughts in the comments. Do you agree with with me and the nigga? Do we? Do you feel like mm -mm, read them down? Do you agree with me to say you know fight fire with fire or do you think you let it go you think it's not a big deal y'all let us know in the comments like the video subscribe to the channel